and welcome to my channel. My name is Anya and in today's video I want to film my makeup collection video and also show you how I store everything. This is the top of my Alex 9 drawer series. <laughs> so I have some makeup, mostly lip products on top and then a bunch of perfumes. I'm gonna move the perfumes out of the way. This is a video I wish I had filmed last year before my no buy year began because my no buy year was pretty successful, I ended up getting rid of a lot of items. And I know my makeup collection shrank, fairly noticeable at least for me, but I didn't really get that on video. This year I'm still hoping to shrink it, so I thought I would film a little bit of a collection video so that I can have it to look back on. Georgina also asked for it in a comment, and that reminded me that this is a video that I wanted to film. This is the top of my Alex 9 drawer. This is my window. Yes, that's snow. I have almost all of my lip products up top here. So this little holder here, I have 10 lip products that I'm hoping to pan this year. So I currently have five mini bite lipsticks, a Clinique chubby stick, and then four mini Nick Soft Matte Lip Creams. I then have these two nine holders for lipsticks where I have all of my ColourPop Disney Designer, Disney Villains at the back, and my Frozen lipsticks. And then the four here are my Lisa Aldrich lipsticks. They are tucked away on the side here, facing my bed, and they just fit really nicely here. Then I have this unit here, which holds all of my liquid lipsticks. In the three drawers at the bottom, I have all of my soft matte lip creams in the two top drawers. And then in the bottom, I have more soft matte lip creams. I also have some from Collection, Sleek, Colourpop and Barry M and more NYX products. In the top two drawers here I have Colourpop Midnight Masquerade lippies and more liquid lipsticks from other brands. I think I have Rimmel and Fenty in here. And up top here you can't really see so I'm gonna move it down. I have my lip liners. They are in some holders at the back. I have them separated out. These are a bunch that I want to pan to start with and then these are some that are left. And then I have my three Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks here and behind this I have a Bessemer lipstick. I'm gonna move those around, it's easy to see it this way. And I have a couple of rocks here. I tend to just pick up rocks if I'm on a beach and I find some that I like. And they're just living there. I will have my total number for all of my makeup in the description box below and I'll also have every category and their number. But if you're curious about any specific makeup item because I'm not going to be able to show absolutely every product because that would take me forever. If you're curious about anything, pop them in the comments below and I will answer it. But let's get into the drawers. This is the top drawer and these are all of my base products. I was able to condense three drawers containing my face products into two last year. My primers, foundations, concealers and setting sprays are in this drawer here. My setting sprays are at the back along with my Smashbox Primer Water. I've put everything into the drawers for this video but normally there is always a handful of things from every single drawer that are in either my project pan drawer or my shop my stash drawer. I will leave my introduction to the project pan and my January shop my stash in the description box. They were the same video. My February shop my stash will be up either before this or after. I will also link it when that's up. But I have my setting sprays at the back along with one over here. <laughs> And then I have my primers in this little bin over here. Primer was a category I cut in half last year and I definitely have a couple here that I'm aiming to finish. This one I wanted done in January, did not make it. I have like one use left though. But I have a couple of primers and stuff in here. You are in the wrong pile. Over here I have all of my concealers and my colour correctors. I only have three colour correctors at the moment. I have a white mixer, a green and an under eye one. But the rest in here are concealers from various brands. And then in front here I have all of my foundations. I ended up just lying, laying them flat in the drawer. It ends up working. My powder foundation is here. I currently have two in here because I have a major pan on one, so I'm gonna have to bring the other one in soon. But liquid foundations and then my stick foundations. This is how that looks. This drawer is one of the busier drawers in my entire collection. This holds all of my powder products. So I have my pressed powders at the front here and spill over on the end here. I have my blushes behind my powders. Loose powders over here, my powder bronzers over here. Then I have my cream cheek products over here. This entire row on the right is highlighters. And I have my smaller face palettes over here, the ones that would get lost in my face palette drawer, along with one bronzer that if it falls over, it spills. When I have things in the project and the shop my stash, everything fits nicely. 
and I have a couple of items here that I definitely want to finish this year. So I will be able to have a little bit more room hopefully by the end of the year. This is how it's organized. I'm really happy. The powders, I have the two darker ones back here. They are the ones that won't fit me most of the time. The rest are the ones that work for me all year round. My blushes, I have them organized by size. Tallest in the back and smaller in the front. I also have some tucked on the side here because they won't all fit. That way I can see everything and then I just have the same brand grouped together if I have multiples of them, like these four here. They are all H&M ones. Loose powders, I only have three. I kind of want to finish one. I only have two bronzes, so it's very easy for me to know where I have those at all time. My cream products, this part is a mess. It's always a mess. I have, just inside here, I think you're barely able to see, I have my Super Shocks from the Disney Designer Collection. I also have one from Wonder 2. They are there. And then I just pile everything in and I know what everything is in here. This isn't a category where I have all that much in. So I am able to find everything and I know where everything is fairly easily. But that lives here and my highlighters are organized by color, not by brand. So I have my clear glittery Fenty one in the back, then I have my white highlighters, any white shifting golds, oh, and I have one that's pink gold. Then I have my golds right here, organized from lightest to darkest. Then I have three that end up in the sort of beige category or ones that don't necessarily look like they have much of a color on my skin, just more sheen. Peach and pink in the front. The smaller face palettes here, I have my Charlotte Tilbury duo, a Rimmel face trio, and my e.l.f. duo. These would get lost in my face palette drawer. And then of course my spillover powders that don't fit over here when everything is in here. And my mini bronzer. I am really, really pleased that I was able to condense the three drawers I had with all of these into two. Even though it doesn't technically all fit the way I wanted it to, it will by the end of the year. I am determined to finish things in here so that everything will fit nicely and I'm really really happy with how it looks. Everything is easy for me to get. I've organized it in a way that I know where everything is. This drawer is one of my messier ones. These are all of my lip products that aren't on top of my desk. So I have my crayons and like lip sticks in like stick form in front. Lip glosses on the side. And then in this box I have all of my other bullet lipsticks. It's a little bit of a mess in here. But I know what everything is. I have Colourpop, Makeup Mecca, Maybelline Number no. 7, Urban Decay, my Bite Minis. I have two Fenty and a NYX one in here. And in the back here, I have some earrings that are in these bags. I also have my Colourpop Mulan Lip Trio here. I don't, I haven't taken those out of the box. And behind the box with the lipsticks, I have my Bessemer Mickey Mouse duo. I also haven't taken that out. That's something that I want to display on a shelf once my shelves get on the wall because I like it but these are my lip products this is a category I want to shrink as much as possible this year it's why I ended up putting 10 into this little lipstick holder so that I can start with 10 that I want to focus on and then as things get used up in there I just put a new thing in to remind myself this is something I want to use up but my lip collection shrunk a lot last year I'm hoping to shrink it even more this year because it's a lot my goal eventually is probably to be able to fit all of my lip products into the two drawers up on my desk, so the th triple drawer and the double. I'm not there yet. I'm not sure I'm going to get there this year, but maybe at some point in the future that would be the goal. This is my non-eyeshadow eye drawer. Here I have everything for like eyes and brows that is not eyeshadow. I have my brow products in the front here. I currently have two brow gels, a brow soap and four pencils. I'm really pleased with that. This is my eye pencils. I have a lot in here. This is a category that I shrunk a little bit last year and I'm definitely hoping to shrink it even more this year by using them. It's not something that I use very frequently because my eyes generally don't like eyeliners, but I'm hoping to get a little bit more use this year and I want to try and use them as eye bases to just finish some. I have mascaras in the bin on the left. I currently only have six, two of which are open. So I have the Maybelline Lash Sensational and the Tarte Lights camera splashes that are open. I also have a lash glue, lash glue remover, and in the back I have my liquid and gel liner. I have five liquids and one gel, and one of the liquid liners are currently open. I do technically have more liquid liners, and I have more makeup in some places. In the total numbers in the description box, 
any of my backups will be counted but my backups don't necessarily live in these drawers. They live in a backups drawer. And I tend to pull out one whenever I use it um, and want to open one. But I know I have a couple of liquid liner backups. I have a mascara backup. I'm not sure if I have any more brow backups for my brow pencils. I might, but I know at least for the next drawer with my Super Shocks, I have a couple of backups there and I have a backup face palette. Backups are counted in my total makeup. They're not really kept in these drawers unless I have used up my original one and want to bring the backup in. And I also have any of my false lashes in the back. I have the round white ones. They are makeup mecca. I have eight of them and then the other ones here are House of Lashes. I'm not a big lash person. I don't wear them very frequently. My favourite lashes are the two from House of Lashes. It's Featherette, which I really, really like and Noir Fairy Light. I also do enjoy the Makeup Mecca ones. I find them to be a little bit more natural, which makes them a little bit easier for me to use. So I have them sort of separated by the more natural ones on the left and the more dramatic ones on the right. I use the more natural ones a lot. The top one here is flirty. I use this a lot. It's very light, very natural, very easy. And when I'm wearing lashes, they are usually what I go for or I will use some of my favorites from House of Lashes. This is all of my single eyeshadows that are not in my magnetic palette. So I have this empty ColourPop quad palette that I got as a gift with purchase when I purchased some singles. I like having it here, easy to reach if I want to build myself a little quad. In the front here, I have all of my glitter shadows, so the Stilo Glitter and Glows, and I have some from Makeup Mecca that are the same. I have also got smaller eye palettes here that would get lost in my eyeshadow palette drawer. So I have an Isadora quad, a Charlotte Tilbury quad, this is a single from The Body Shop, and then I have three Fenty. These are the colourful highlighters that I wear as eyeshadow. In this little compartment on the left, I have four number seven shadows and two from NYX. This is an empty Colourpop compact. In this one on the right I have my three eye bases, so I have one from one to two, Fenty one underneath that, and then all the way over here one of these little pots is from Makeup Mecca. These three next ones are cream shadows from Makeup Mecca and then I have the Hourglass Scattered Lights. And the rest of the drawer is taken up by all of my Colourpop Super Shock shadows. The Colourpop Super Shock shadows is my favourite eyeshadow formulation. I have a lot of them. I also know I have backups of some of these, but I have them sorted by matte colours on the front left until the one that's lying down, that's the last matte. And then I have shimmers and I have them organised by tone, starting with the light, this is a sparkly white, going into like the light golds, golds, copper, I have almost half of this row, if not almost all of this, is just straight copper on the second one here, going into some darker shades, and then with the orange one in the back and the last ones, they are more colourful ones, so I have some peaches, pink, purple and green. I really like having them organised this way because I know where everything is, sort of approximately, and I can easily get to everything. This is my eyeshadow palette drawer and I have them stacked a little bit by size. The sort of pink one at the bottom here is my Makeup Revolution Emily Edit The Once palette. It's my biggest palette and it needs to lie down, which is why it has the space in the front, because if I tuck it in the back, I will forget it exists. I have a Fenty highlighter palette on top that I also do wear as eyeshadows. And then I'm gonna start with the back row, row because it's easier. I have the bigger palettes in the back, so they are stacked up against the back of the drawer. I have Fenty Moroccan Spice in the corner, then I have my Colourpop Disney large palette. This is a Linda Hulberg the Spectral palette. I have my four Anastasia palettes in the middle. Makeup Revolution The Needs palette from the Emily collection. KVD Anniversary palette. Two Dose of Colours palette, the Disney ones. And then the harder ones to see in here, I have five Makeup Mecca 9 pan, and then tucked in, I have my NYX Ultimate palette in bright. In front here, in the middle row, this is all Colourpop palettes. So I have the 12 pans at the back. I have Element of Surprise, I Think I Love You, Yes Please, and At Forest Sight. And then I have my four nine pans, so I have the Mandalorian the Child, my Elsa and Anna palette from the Frozen 2, and Aha uh, Honey, which is one of my favourite colourful palettes. I love it, I love yellow eyeshadow so much, and that palette is just a dream. And I have more small palettes up the front here. I have my Linda Halberg quads, I have Metallic Mysteries 2 and Enchanted Mysteries. Then I have three Tanya Burke Cosmetics palette, a tart one, and the little one and baby in the front 
here is the Smashbox Ablaze. This is a drawer that I organized last year and I'm really pleased with how it looks. And I really like everything here. This is one of my favorite drawers in the entire makeup collection. And I think that's just because I love eyeshadow so much, but this drawer, this drawer brings me so much joy. And then this is my last drawer full of makeup. In here I have all of my face palettes organized by size in the front. And I have my adapt palette with all of my single eyeshadows there and any of the smaller palettes and the large palettes. They are empty. Those two currently have eyeshadows in them from the January and the February shop my stash. But I like having the palettes in here next to the large adapt one because that's where I store them. And then I build smaller palettes to use my shadows with. And I like keeping that together because then it's easier for me to know where everything is. My face palettes at the front, I have a benefit one in the corner. This is a Colourpop palette that I have put any of my magnetic single face palettes in. So I have Soap and Glory, Sydney Grace. These smaller rectangles, I think is the right word. They are NYX and the two in the corner on the right are from BH Cosmetics. They are the from the Kali Bible palette. I have Urban Decay, Gwen Stefani, Anastasia Moonchild, and Hourglass palette. Makeup Revolution, I think it's the Sofax Highlighter palette. Tanya Burr, Makeup Mecca, Elf, and Makeup Mecca. And then in here I have three of my Isadora round ones. They stack better than they stand up like that because they end up rolling everywhere. And then my Anastasia Sugar Glow Kit. I ended up storing my singles in here because my eyeshadow palette drawer is kind of full. This is my singles palette. It looks a little messy. There's a lot of empty gaps in it because I have picked out my shadows. I haven't put my January ones back in and I have picked out the ones I want to use for February. It's usually more full than this. It's not entirely filled up. I have a little bit of space but these are my eyeshadows. I have them sorted by warm tones on the left here along with my grey in the corner and then more colourful ones on the right. So I have greens in this corner, blues in the other, purples in the lower right, and then pink and mauves over here. The brands of shadows in here, the main one is Colourpop, most of the round pants are Colourpop. I also have Cleona, BH Cosmetics, NYX, JD Glow, Makeup Mecca, Soap and Glory. I think that's it. I really like this palette. I love my single shadows. I love eyeshadow in general. I do have a couple of eyeshadows coming in from Cleona that are in my eyeshadow total, but they haven't arrived to me yet. And then this little one, I'm just gonna show you to you. This was my January pick. I picked out all of my grungy green and olive tones. Had it with the Cleona Shadow in Sandblast. Loved this. I have really loved this palette. The other palette here, this is a Colourpop one. I have these shadows. I'm going to put these in the orange smaller pan and I'm gonna keep the large colour in the top right corner, which is the auburn shade I use for my eyebrows. I have them in here now just as a placeholder because I have not yet filmed my February Shop My Stash. I'm filming this after this one, but I have already selected the shadows I want to play with. These are them. I like them. These are Colourpop, Sydney Grace, that's a brand I forgot to name, BH Cosmetics, NYX, and I think that's from BH Cosmetics as well. I love me, my eyeshadows. I love me, my Colourpop. I really like the Colourpop formulation. This is Sydney Grace. This is incredible. It's one of the best copper eyeshadows in existence, and so is this. I have three duochromes here, so I have Glass Ball, Earth Shine from Colourpop, and then The Greatest Gift from Sydney Grace. I really enjoy playing with them, and duo and multi-chromes are something I want to challenge myself with this year, and just play with and have fun with, because I haven't really used them all that much in the past, but I really liked using them last year. I want to continue this, but this is... It looks not really cohesive, and that's because I have selected these eyeshadows to pair with a palette, or three, that I picked to play with in February, but... I think it's gonna work, I think it's gonna be fun, and I'm excited. So that was my makeup collection. I hope you liked it. I do also have some samples. They are in the Shop My Stash drawer. I have them in there at all times so that I remember that I own them. But this is how I store my makeup. This is the makeup that I have. I'm starting the year with 593 total items. I am hoping to finish 100 items this year or have 100 items leave my collection. I don't want to declutter that much so I have to finish them for that to happen. It's going to be hard but I know I'll be able to do 50. I will finish 50 
easily. Whether I will get to 100 it's going to be a little bit more challenging but I have high hopes really because I am excited to play with my makeup and to use it this year and I think I'm going to be close. If I'm not hitting it I'm going to be close. Thank you so much for watching the video. If there is a product or collection of products, anything you want to see a video on, pop it in the comment section below and I will do that. I'm excited for the year. It's now been about a full month. I don't think my face was in a video in January. I've just not been feeling up for it. So I've filmed a lot of overhead shots and anything where I don't need to put my face in. I will be back with my face hopefully soon for just playing with makeup, doing tutorials and just sharing the things that I like. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!